Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys, we are finally, if you guys saw the title of the video, we are finally getting into Self Tanner Showdown Part 2. Ooh, 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 ooh. This video has been a long time coming. We're doing all express formulas today. All of my thoughts on all of these hyped up best of the best brands of self tanner in express formulas. If this is content that you guys like to see, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and let's jump into this video. All right, you guys, so I am going to attack this video a little bit differently than I did last time. Last time I did like the best to the worst and there's just too many formulas and if I'm 100% honest in a self tanner, what I am personally looking for is an ultra dark formula and I use two coats of an ultra dark formula. I want it to dry down and basically I want the unicorn, if that makes sense, of all the self tanners. So for me personally, I got some very beautiful tan out of these express tanners. However, in the moment, all I could think was, well, it's good, but it's not ultra dark, if that makes sense. Because a lot of these don't even claim to be ultra dark. A lot of them just are dark formulas. And you know, if you do two coats and you sit on them for a certain period of time, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do this time, I'm going to tell you my favorite self tanner at the end. I will go through all of the tans. I show you application, what the foam looks like, how it applies, how long it lasts on the body, if there's body odor, if the formula dries down. I'm basically just gonna give you all the information and let you guys come up with what self tanner sounds the best for you. Because in the end, isn't that what it's all about? Everybody's preferences are so different. What we're looking for is so different. All of our opinions are so different. And I love that. I don't make these videos think oh my goodness, I'm right, I have the best of the best, because my preference is gonna be different than yours. I just wanna give you guys all the information so that if you are searching for a good self tanner or you guys want a nice express self tanner, you know, for a quick trip or you're going somewhere, going on a date, or you know, you have an event to go to, you want a quick self tanner, definitely I will give you some recommendations in this video. Also go check out my video that gives you all of my best tips and tricks before self tanning because if you are using a self tanner to go on a trip or to go to an event, you definitely want those tips and tricks. So I will have that video linked above and in the description box down below that will really help you out. In the parameters for this video, you guys, I sat in all of these self tanners for four hours. Some of the tans say to sit in them from one to three hours or two to four hours or one to four hours. Some of them even say one to six. I think the Bondi Sands definitely says you can sit in it for up to six hours. So I decided four hours was just going to be the standard across the board and I did two coats. What we're looking at right here is two coats of all of the self tanners just to make them the same equal all that jazz, okay? For me personally, I am never going to sit in a self tanner for one hour because I know that I want to be dark, okay? I wanna be ultra dark. I do two coats of ultra dark and I will sit in it as long as humanly possible, okay? Like I just want to look like Miss Hawaiian Tropics. That is my goal in life, okay? So the parameters of the self tanners, you guys, is four hours and two coats, okay? So just so everybody knows where we're at. And without further ado, let's just jump into self tanner number one. All right, you guys, so my first self tanner and the most used self tanner in the Express Formula line is definitely the Bondi Sands One Hour Express Formula. And in this video, I only sat in it for four hours. However, I normally sit in this formula for at least six hours. If I have the time or I'm sleeping in it, sometimes I'll be in it for eight. I love that this self tanner dries down. One coat dries down quickly. Two coats, it takes, I think, two hours for it to dry down. But I love that because I can put it on and if I wanna sleep in it, I know that I'm going to be dry by by the time I go to bed, I just plan ahead. So I love that about this formula. As you can see, the mousse is nice and thick. It's aerated. It definitely has a color guard. It has a beautiful coconut scent. It's the same Bondi Sands 
Aereo coconut deliciousness. I personally really love it. This self tanner, if you baby it and if you're not taking showers daily and if you're using, like I always use a tan extender, whether it's the Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning Milk or the Jergens Natural Glow, I do use it on all of these tans, you guys, unless I saw it breaking up really early, I will always use a tan extender to extend the life of my tan because I want my tan to look the best as possible. And if I'm taking care of this tan, it can last me anywhere from eight to 10 days. Love that about this self tanner. If I'm working out all the time and, you know, taking more showers, it's going to be more of a six day tan. That's just life. If you are not taking care of any of your tans, they're gonna fade really fast. You just have to know that about self tanning, okay? It doesn't matter what self tanner you use. If you're showering every single day, if you're showering with a loofah and scrubbing or exfoliating in any way, if you're not extending the life of your tan, if you're not doing it properly, you ain't gonna keep your tan, if that makes sense. So one coat dries down in about 30 minutes, two coats dries down in about two hours. In my experience, with this self tanner and it's the same with the ultra dark and the one hour express for me personally is it doesn't matter if I wait 30 minutes to apply the second coat or if I apply it right after it doesn't matter my tan doesn't dry down until two hours later so I don't wait the 30 minutes between applications with this formula because I know it's not going to dry down for two hours anyway and I'm not going to extend that by 30 minutes if that makes sense moving right along we are moving into the Australian Glow. You guys, this self tanner is $29.99. All right, you guys, so check out this bronzer guide. First of all, if I could just be this color, I would love it. The foam was nice and aerated. It wasn't that really thick foam like the Bondi Sands. This definitely has more of a red undertone, but it was so dark and I was like, oh my goodness, this is perfect. Like if I could just be this color, that's everything I could ever want. And then obviously I rinsed it off, all the bronzer guide went away and it was not nearly dark enough for me with one coat. So you will see the final result of this tan. This is two coats and it's a beautiful tan. This self tanner does have a slight scent. It's definitely more of a self tanner scent. It's not yummy and delicious, but it also wasn't offensive. So that's good. I did get a little bit of body odor with this self tanner. The fade on this tan was beautiful. It did not get patchy and gross. It was like, it was a very beautiful fade of the tan, which I always really appreciate. This tan does not last on my body very long. So I definitely only use this when I want to look good over the weekend or something. I only had this beautiful tan for like three to four days on me personally. And like I said, if I notice by day three that my self tanner is breaking up, I'm not going to try to extend that tan because I'm just going to look funky and patchy. I would rather be able to exfoliate it off and get a new tan on if that makes sense. So for me, this one did not hold up and I will not purchase this tanner again. And with two coats, this self tanner did dry down in about 30 minutes, which is so impressive. Absolutely love that. And as you can see, you guys, you do get an absolutely beautiful tan from this self tanner. So if you just need something that's quick and easy and dries down and beautiful with a nice red undertone, because this definitely has a red undertone. It's not that green olivey undertone. This is definitely almost that like I've been to the beach. I've got a little bit of red on my skin because I'm sun kissed from the sun kind of a feel if you get my if you get the vibe you know so for me I absolutely love it but it's definitely just something that I would wear if I was going to an event and I wanted to look beautiful and flawless I would definitely wear it for that but for me longevity wise this self tanner just didn't stay on my body personally I'm sure it stays on other people but for me it just didn't so then we're moving on to the Bali Body Express which you guys I have a whole video that did a comparison between Bali Body and Bali Body Express so if you guys want to see that video I will have that video linked above and down below for you guys. The Bali Body Express, I had really high hopes for this self tanner, you guys, because I loved the Bali Body original so much. It is $32.95. As you can see, this mousse is very dense, just like the Bondi Sands. So, you know, you don't want to go in really hard with it. You want to almost let it warm up a little bit on your skin before you start massaging it through. This formula is also very dry. So you want to work in small 
sections and work quickly. The original Bali body is like a whipped, really light, really airy. So it just glides on the skin and it's really beautiful. And I don't mind an aerated formula. This one just happened to dry really quickly. So one coat dries down really quickly. You just kind of feel tacky, which is not a bad thing. Two coats did not dry down on me. It was wet and sticky and tacky the whole time and it was not my favorite personally. There is a color guard, but it is very light, which I actually don't mind that. The scent of this one is light and fresh, same as the Ultra Dark formula. There was minimal transfer with one coat, but with two coats because it didn't dry down, it definitely had some transfer. Again, this self tanner only lasted on me for about five days. And I'm thinking, honestly, you guys, it's just the fact that they're dark formulas. I'm used to ultra dark formulas. And I think that that's why they last longer is because they're darker, if that makes sense. So five days, I feel like is pretty standard for this kind of a self tanner, but I just would like to have it last longer. So for me, the Bali Body Express did not meet my expectations and probably because I just liked the Bali Body original better. I mean, it did have a decent tan at the end, as you can see. And if I'm going to stay sticky tacky wet, I would way rather be ultra dark formula, if you know what I mean. All right, you guys, so let's move on to be tan. This is too tan to give a damn. Excuse the language. Not me. It's actually the name of the tanner. Now this is $12.99. This self tanner, first of all, it's got a kind of a weird scent. It's very light and you can't really smell it, but there is a very light scent to this self tanner. Also, as you can see, as I'm applying this self tanner, you guys, it's got a gray undertone. Like I almost felt dead putting this one on and was very concerned. However, the application, because it's that really lighter foam, it was really easy to apply. It was very smooth and I really enjoyed tanning with it. One coat did dry down very quickly and two stayed sticky for about 20 minutes in. 45 minutes in, I was pretty dry to the touch. It didn't feel sticky in my elbows or knees, which is really great. I did get a little bit of body odor with this self tanner. And you guys, so that week was just crazy. So look at this afters video for the B tan is five days later. Okay, so obviously that is amazing because if five days later I still look this good, it lasted, you know, six, seven days and it looks, I mean, if on day five I look that good, day six, day seven was looking good too. So this was definitely a good self tanner. I was very impressed, especially since the color guide was so light, I didn't know what to expect. Like I was expecting it to be very fair and it was not. It's a very beautiful tan and I really enjoyed this self tanner. All right, so we're moving into Tanologist, which is $16.99 for this bottle. It definitely has more of a red undertone. It does have a color guard. I love the color guard. Not too dark, but not too light, as you guys can see. The fade is typical. It didn't get patchy. It was very easy to exfoliate off, which I love that about a self tanner. I really hate having to really work to get the self tanner off because when you're tanning every single week, you don't wanna just be scrub, scrub, scrubbing all the time. Like it's just nice when it comes off easily. The longevity, solid six days on this self tanner, really nice. This formula does not claim to dry down. And with two coats, it didn't dry down. But as you can see, this was a really beautiful tan and I really enjoyed it. And then the last, you guys, and we always save the best for last because we need you guys to hang around. and. I know I talk, so thanks for hanging in there with me today. But the last self tanner today, you guys, and the one I was most shocked about was the Ulta Beauty One Hour Express Tanner. Okay, you guys, so this formula is $12.99 for this bottle, which is so affordable. Love that. You can just pop into Ulta and pick it up, which is super easy and convenient. The color was excellent. As you can see, it had a color guard. It was very light and I loved it. The fade was very typical. It broke 
up in all the areas that's typical, the hands, you know, where my sports bra is, all that jazz, you get it. There was no real scent. The application was super easy. It went on really easily. I had a tiny bit of body odor, but nothing crazy. The longevity was five to six days, which is very typical. I just really enjoyed the undertone of this tan and it was really beautiful. The transfer was minimal with one coat. Two coats dried down in two hours with this formula, which I was not expecting because this formula does not claim to dry down. And so I love that because I'm used to that with my Bondi Sands. So I love that about a formula. If it dries down at any point, this girl is a happy girl. This was probably my favorite tan. I got some very beautiful tans, as you can see. Like, and the fact that the two tan to give a damn was five days and I was doing the video then, seriously so good. I just, so many good formulas. What formulas have you guys tried? What do you guys enjoy about a formula? I want to know. That's it for today's video, you guys. I want to know what self-tanner you guys have tried. Which ones are your favorites? Are there any that I haven't tried yet that I need to try that dries down, that gets dark? Let me know in the comments down below. And let me know what kind of videos you guys are looking for for this summer because I want to film what you guys want to see. That's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this self tanner showdown part two just getting my thoughts on all things express tanners i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel and if you hit that little notification bell it'll just send you a notification when my next video comes out and that's it for today's video you guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one bye